Hey guys, it's Amy Vo, Jamberry Independent Consultant. Today I want to show you what you need to apply your wraps and then do it. Apply the wraps, that is. Now, first thing you're going to need your heater, nail scissors, cuticle pusher, a file. A file, you're gonna need a file, um, a, a thick one, yeah, and I think that's it, maybe some nail clippers if you prefer that method, now, but wait, hold the phone, what if you don't have all that stuff, what if you don't have all the fancy nail stuff, uh, we're gonna go old school, and I'm gonna show you how to do it without Jamberry tools, instead of a heater, you can use a blow dryer. Now, if you don't have a blow dryer, then you can use another heat source, but we'll talk about that later. But I'm going to use the blow dryer instead of nail scissors if you don't have nail scissors, because I know I didn't before I became a Jamboree consultant. You can use regular scissors. If you don't have regular scissors, then I cannot help you and you have bigger problems than nail wraps. But, it's just me. If you do not have a Jamberry cuticle pusher, you can use a different brand cuticle pusher that you may have. If you don't have this, pencil eraser. And, if you don't have one of the fancy Jamberry nail files that I didn't show you, use a cheapo. It's gonna be harder, but It'll get the job done until you can get an awesome Jamberry file. Oh, and the one thing that you cannot do it without is alcohol. You need alcohol. You don't need a fancy Jamberry alcohol wipe. You can just use a regular bottle of alcohol. Mine is in a spray bottle for some reason. I really don't know why I put it in there, but it's in there. And I'm going to use it. Now, oops. I'm going to show you how to apply them using my ghetto tools. Now, first thing you're going to do is my alcohol spraying it on my cotton ball. Clean your nail really well with alcohol. I'm dripping it everywhere. See, it's wet. It's clean. Now, find the wrap that will fit your nail. No, push back your cuticles. Okay, I have an orange stick. Not everybody has an orange stick to push back their cuticles. So if you don't have any kind of cuticle pusher or anything, I, I didn't think this through. Scissors? Oh yeah, it does work. All right, I'm using my scissors. These aren't sharp, these are rounded kid scissors. All right, now I don't know if you can see it, no, but when you push back your cuticles, there's this like white stuff that's left behind that's invisible cuticle. Try and scrape that off of there because it'll cause your wraps to bubble. All right, then we'll go ahead and clean my nail again since I put those scissors all over and touched it. Now, I'm gonna get, clean your nail, alcohol, got it. Next. Find a wrap that fits your nail without touching. You don't want it to be on top of the cuticles or on top of your skin. You want it to be inside this line. You want it to be where you would put nail polish. You don't put nail polish down here so you don't put a wrap down there. All right, now one strip is enough for two nails. So let me get my, what am I using? I don't have an orange stick. Pencil maybe? I don't know. I don't know about this one. Okay. I guess I'll use the scissors again. Just get off. Okay. Peeling it up. And I am cutting it in half. Then I grabbed it with the scissors, just stuck the tip to the end. Now the rounded part goes towards the rounded part of your cuticle. Alright, 
I am just going to set that on there, centered, best I can. So I just set it on there. I didn't push it down. It's just laying on there like that. All right, now, got my blow dryer. That is loud. Okay, and warmed it up till it was soft and flexible. Okay and then pushed it all the way down. Now you can see there's some bubbling on my wrap. So what I'm gonna do is apply more heat with the blow dryer to where the bubbling is. Then take my eraser and smooth it down. Careful, because you get eraser gun everywhere. Don't push down too hard. All right, have more bubbling. You need it. And then smooth it down all the way around the cuticle. I'm gonna make sure I get my tip really good. So loud. I'll show you how quiet the heater is in a second. All right. Now, if you see any bubbles around the edge, heat, apply more heat and apply more pressure to get them out. If the bubbles are not going away, your blow dryer probably does not get hot enough. So maybe use a I don't know. Buy a Jamberry heater. Okay. <laughs> now, now you have this leftover tip here. I'm going to heat it up. And I'm going to pull and stretch to make sure I don't have any creases in the tip of my nail. See how I pulled and stretched it around the tip of my nail? Now I am going to trim it. And I still have a little bit left on there, so I'm going to use my nail file. And you just want to go in downward strokes. You have to put some muscle into it. Oh man, this bottle sucks. Buy a Jamberry application kit. This is horrible. No, it's really not bad. It's just so much easier with our awesome tools. Okay, see, I'm working it. It's coming off. But you can also... I'm going to show you the rest of it this way. Broke my nail clippers. Okay. You can also use nail clippers and just clip the very end of your fingernail off with a little bit of wrap or with all the wrap. And then you want to reheat the tip to seal it. And we're done. That is how you apply a Jamberry nail with random things from your home. Now, let me show you how quiet this heater is. I can talk over it. Wow, I can watch TV and apply my wraps. Okay, that's it. Thanks guys for watching and let me know if you have any questions and see you later.